Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. The Transport Workers Union of New South Wales has called for immediate action to be taken with seven truck-related fatalities on the state's roads during May. The union says the economic pressures and the deadlines placed on truck drivers are contributing to the deadly accidents. It's an alarming trend. Truck-related accidents are becoming commonplace on roads across the state. There's now been seven uh fatal truck crashes you know, on New South Wales roads in May as opposed to none in May at this point last year. Mr McIntosh says economic pressures and strict deadlines placed on drivers by big companies contribute to the increased number of accidents. And the only way that uh, the drivers are able to cut 5% of their rates is to forego things such as maintenance, is to drive through rest breaks, but given a choice between putting food on the table so that they can keep working or just not working at all. Uh, that's what they have to do to make sure they earn a, a quid. Truck driver Bruce Dodds says while the industry is well regulated, there's still pressures placed on drivers to meet deadlines. Most companies are, are pretty good. 99% of them are pretty good. They don't push the drivers. But there is a rug element, yeah, and there is push pressures put on drivers, but, you know, nowhere near as much as it should be. He says road fatalities involving truck drivers have a ripple effect across the entire community. Oh, the impact is huge, absolutely huge. We at the Trans Health Foundation, we sort of end up picking up the pieces, you know, um, dealing with the families, uh, the wife, the, the sisters, the brothers, the kids. With 300 truck-related deaths recorded on Australian roads each year, industry representatives say statistics are far too high. They fear they'll only increase, however, with the National Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal, an industry body for truck drivers currently under threat, with a federal government review underway. The Transport Workers Union says the recent fatalities prove just how necessary the body is. The union now pleading with the government to continue its support. Jessica Evans, Wind News.